to them. Um, can I just ask you, before we talk about the test, can I ask you about the news today from Newcastle, please? Because clearly you would have spent a little bit of time with Steve at the weekend. Um, the news today that he's left and he's also considering retirement. I, I just wondered if I could get your reaction to that news, please. Bad news. Bad news. It's always said that someone uh, loses a job and I have great respect and admiration for, for Steve. We know each other a while ago. We started in championship. I started with championship when we arrived. The, the derby is against Villa and we built a, a normal relationship. It's very bad news, very bad news. I hope he doesn't retire. I think he still has a lot to give to the game. How difficult a decision is that for a manager? Because I guess like all managers, the, the game is in the blood, isn't it? Difficult to make that decision. Sorry, I don't understand your question. How, how, divi how difficult is it to make that decision to retire? Because I guess the game is in the blood for all the managers that you know? Yes, yes, yes. It's very hard. It's very hard to to leave the game. Uh, like Steve, like myself, we started as football players. And when I think about me, and I don't, I don't know what else could I do in life. I think the same for Steve. So it's a, if it's that the case, it's a hard decision for sure. Can I ask you about the Vitesse game there? Because clearly this competition just seems to be working out nicely for you. You scored plenty of goals last time out, and then it led to some good results in the Premier League. Are you, are you finding that this, this competition is, is very good and very positive for you as regards getting into that winning rhythm? Competition is, makes a tight schedule, but it's always a chance to, to play, to play, for the players to improve. This is what we want from all our players, to have a chance to compete. And tomorrow is going to be a tough game, tough game. But it's always a good chance to, to put things together, to play well and, and build the momentum. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Thanks. By the, the video that we could see of the training session, it looked like the starting 11, out, sorry, outfield players from Newcastle weren't involved. Are you going to do what you did um, with the Pesos game and then Wolves in terms of them staying here and training ahead of West Ham? Yes. I mean, is that, um, I mean, I don't know how to put this, but obviously Ian Cathro, congratulations to him that became a father for the first time. I mean, will he be remaining in the UK, does that kind of help him stay in the UK and, and train those players? That's not the, not the reason. Uh, <laughs> we work today, we work today, uh, we prepare the game with um, the players that are going to start uh, yeah, uh, tomorrow and then we have a good training session with the players that are going to stay, they're going to work tomorrow and then we're going to join all the group on Friday um, and Ian is going to stay with them but uh, thank you. He has a beautiful baby, uh, but that's not the reason he's going to stay. He's going to stay because tomorrow is an important day in terms of preparation for, for the game of Sunday. Just can I ask about injury news, I presume? Is it Matt, Matt Doherty and Ryan Sessegnon still out? Yeah, unfortunately, yes. Uh, Matt is improving, um, Sessi also, but they, they, didn't, they are not in the group yet. Um, I hope soon, next week, you we'll see if we have good news. Thanks, Emma. Thank you. Thanks, Ali. Uh, Ian, how are you? I'm okay, Ian. Yourself? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, just one more, if I may ask Steve Bruce. Um, how difficult is it um, as a manager to divorce yourself from what people say about you as a manager to you as a human being when you go home and, and spend time with your family? How difficult is that to make sure that you're, you don't take your work home with you? It's impossible. It's impossible. You always take your work with you, especially in a job like this that uh, consumes so much energy. Uh, I speak for myself, it's impossible to separate things. And, and does it hurt that you have to take the work home and maybe your family see when, you're, when you lost three games in a row and people were, were saying not nice things about you? Does it, does it hurt when you see your family feeling sorry for you and, and, and not knowing how to, how, to, how to speak to you or how to deal with you? It hurts. Of course it hurts. Of course it hurts. It hurts especially because you are sad. You are not happy. Uh, at the same time, you have to, to get away from that and focus on what you have to do to, to react and improve and, and put things better. But it hurts, of course. Talking about reacting and improving, I know that, that obviously you and Son and Harry Kane, as you've just stated there, aren't going to be playing against Vitesse Island. It's a chance, isn't it, for others to, to stay a claim for a place 
in, in, the, in the Premier League teams going forward. But he must be delighted that uh, at the weekend it looked like Harry and, and Sonny were very much back to their almost telepathic best from last season. Yeah, I think they, they st we still have things uh, inside of the team that we want to improve in terms of partnerships. Um, of course, players that long know each other longer, it's easier, but um, we are also building different situations in the midfield, in the, in the middle of the defence. You still have to build, because football is about that. Football is about that inside of the team, that always um, they have to be a small partnership, two, three players by side, by position, whatever, that, that net becomes stronger in the moment that that gets consolidated, the, naturally the team that gets the improvement that, that we need and we still have a lot of aspects in your, our game that uh, need, need better, better, better things. Thanks Nuno. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Hello Nuno. Hello. Um, Nuno, is it fair to say then you talk about leaving this, these players behind from the Newcastle match that at the moment you probably have two teams, a Premier League team and a, and a European team, is that fair to say? No, it's not fair to say. It's, it's, it's a situation that we decided in this specific uh, week that we consider that is the, the best way for us to, to go and, and compete well tomorrow and, and compete well on Sunday, but there's no difference. It's a squad and we have to make decisions. Decisions who goes, who travels, who stays, who needs rest, who needs um, some days to recover better, all, all things that we have to manage inside of the, all the squad. Um, and just in terms of after the Arsenal match, everything was a bit doom and gloom, but you're now fifth. I mean, there's quite a response since then. Is it maybe suggest things are as bad, aren't as bad as they were perceived? No, it's about, it's, I, I repeat myself over and over again. Uh, it's up and downs. You have to realize that that this is this is the game. This is the game. This is football. You play against tough opponents. Sometimes you don't perform. You you go to a bad period, and it's about sticking together. So I'm very proud of the way we came out of that situation. We keep sticking, working together, helping each other, and I think we are improving, getting better, um, playing better football. It's all about that. Play good football. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, hello, Nuno. Um, I'm from Dutch National Television. Um, I'm one, I was wondering, uh, what do you know about Vitesse? A lot. Can you tell us what? Um, I've seen games, we analyze, we prepare the game, we have all the details. We know a lot and we know we're going to play a tough team, very dynamic, uh, aggressive and with a lot of speed in front. Yeah. What, what kind of game do you expect to win? A tough one, a tough one, a tough one. A team that is very aggressive, very aggressive on their football, very dynamic, mobility. We have to be really focused. But it's about us, it's about our tasks, our idea for the game. We want to try and, and um, be in control of the game, with and without the ball. So. We prepare well the training session. We still have to travel tomorrow. The meeting, we pass all the info and the details to the players, and then support them during the game. Did you talk to Stephen Bergwijn about this opponent? No, I didn't talk about that with Stevie. No. I just talked with Stevie to prepare himself um, because he's, he's returning from a, from a tough period that he was out. Um, and it's a good opportunity for him to, to get sharper, to get faster and stronger, because we, we need Stevie in, in, our, in our future. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Spirito Santo, another question about uh, Stephen de Bergwijn. It's his third season in England. How do you see his development? And is he getting to the, to the level where, where, which is needed at, uh, to be a starting player for Spurs? Stevie started very well this season, very, very well this season. Uh, very, very well. Um, unfortunately, he got injured in the national team. He got the injury in the national team, and since then, uh, he's been struggling and, and getting. But now he's, he's getting back. Like I said to you before, it's about getting him fitter, stronger, faster, because he's a very talented player. Very talented player, unique 
inside our squad. He has things that really can help us. He's, he's a fantastic on v one in offensive. He's fast. He gives us speed. He gives us um, deep. Um, we need Stevie. I repeat myself. We need Stevie. A lot of players from Holland had problems getting to the level of Premier League. Um, he, uh, he seems to fit in. Uh, what What is the difference with other players like Van der Beek or Blind or yeah, good players also? Not only the the Holland players. Um, all the players that come to the Premier League need the time to adapt, need the time to to integrate themselves. Change of country, tough competition. The Premier League is is a tougher and more demanding competition in terms of of opposition. All the teams are very, very, very strong. So, not only the Holland players uh, need some time to to develop. Is tomorrow's match a good match for Stevie to get back on the on the, on the pitch? Will he have to start the game? He's going to start the game. He's going to play. Um, he's feeling good. Feeling good. So, let's play good. Be Stevie. Thank you very much. How much of a risk is leaving behind all of your uh, top players and all of the ones who have played in the Premier League? And what would you say to those who say that this show sends out a message that you're not really worried about this competition? No, it's not about that. If if someone gets in that interpretation, I cannot I cannot do anything. And uh, when you decide, you don't think about the risk. If you always think about the risk, you cannot decide. Decisions in life, all, all of them have, have risk. So it's about trying to, to, to analyze and see what is better for us in terms of, of, of our process during the week. And for the future, on next, next week we're going to have another game midweek. So we have to measure all these things. But uh, what you are trying to say, if you allow me, is not right. It's, it's about we respect all the competitions, we respect all the games, and we consider that um, it's better for us to start. Um, the players, they're going to start, leave some players behind here, work, recover well, so we can be able to compete better on, on the Sunday, and then we have Wednesday, and over and over again. But I repeat myself the way I started. If you think about the risk, you will not decide. Thank you. Thanks, Paul.